Hard luck next with me, the CEO of the financial services firm, Cantor Fitzgerald. Great to He's see not wearing a coat. He's bold and strong. That guy <laughs> runs Bank of America. No coat. And that's very I special. Mean, I, and, and I have this rule that whatever the guest is doing, I have to do. And thank God you're wearing a coat because it's minus nine. <laughs> it's out cold. There. All right. Look, th this year, how are you defining this year? Because so far, people, besides Brian Moynihan, who seems to be always cheerful, um, most people are saying it's going to be OK, but don't expect the gangbusters. Yeah, I, I think the over expectation of positive Fed cuts is just so ridiculous. It's sort of entertaining. Oh, the Fed's going to cut 175 basis points. Basically, that's built on the fact that there are too many young people with these opinions on television. Because if you're 40, you've never seen an interest rate. Your whole life, you've never seen an interest rate. When you're 62 like me, you know, you know there are interest rates. You and, know it. And when you're 61 like me, <laughs> you've covered every one of these cycles since Black Monday. Correct. We're not going to have a $34 trillion deficit and have the Fed cut 175 basis points. 50 basis points, maybe, but that's about it. So next year when I see you, it'll be, I don't know, four and a half, four and three quarters. That's about it. So how do you make money in this environment? You can't completely rely on crypto. No, no. Well, you know, look, I like, I like crypto for a few reasons. I like two things. I like Bitcoin because, but I like Bitcoin not because it's a wonderful thing. It's because the emerging markets, people think like, oh, ETFs in America, oh. right? Why would Americans buy Bitcoin? Why would Americans use stablecoin? They don't need it. It's silly. As a matter of fact, G7, it's silly. But imagine if you lived in Turkey or Venezuela or Argentina. Anything is better than the Argentinian peso, which uh, had 220 uh, percent inflation. So if you own Bitcoin or you own Tether, providing you know it's good for you because it'll protect you from that local inflation. So I like Bitcoin and I like Tether for the emerging market people, not for G7, not for people oh, in New York. Oh, but hang on a second, hang on a second. They are also the less f uh, financially sophisticated places where people can really be taken for a ride. Pump and dump, all sorts uh, of other look, things. I tell you what, you know what the worst thing you could do is? Wake up in the morning and buy Turkish Lira. And let's see in a year how you did. You'll be down 60%. If you own Tether, which is in the dollar, you'll be stable. And if you own Bitcoin, it'll be up or down, but you won't be down 60% what purpose, just by inflation. But what purpose do these crypto serves besides this sort of speculative or... They, do you, you're I saying, just described you're, you're, it. But you're saying they're a stable source of, of value. And if you look at Bitcoin over the last two years, can you seriously say that? No, the it way, goes up and down. Of course it goes up and down. But, you know, stable coins, just remember, if right. you and I lived in Argentina... Right? Why do you like? Why aren't you going well, to how about Vietnam or or Turkey or all these countries that have lousy oh. currencies? The lousy currencies is where crypto is born to live, not the G7 countries. People have it all silly. All right. We U.S. is just speculating. What about treasuries? Good old-fashioned treasuries and equities. Low 40, interest 60. rates. They're going to do 40, great. 60. Uh, I like I like equities. I like treasuries. The world is reasonably good here. I think treasuries are do, going to do better than equities over the next year. I think equities are going to sort of bounce around. Not so not so sexy. They won't go down a lot. They won't go up a lot. It's kind of boring. All right. Very what nice. do you want me to do? I want you to choose a color. I'm always going to choose black because my companies, BGC and Newmark, see, we live in the black. Okay, you got to live in the black. Come over. Now, in okay. terms of AI, now this is not whether you're using it. It's not if you like it. This is how far you think society, global, yeah, we, you, me, everybody, are we ready? Do we have the regulation? Do we have the rules? Do we have the laws? Are we dangerously unprepared or are we nailed it? Where are you? I think I'm, I'm going to be more on this side. Okay? I don't think the regulation stuff is really important. I don't think Any, these things are... What is the, this? These are the risks, retraining, ethics, public good. Or you just, well, what's with the risks? How about something good? Why can't there be something good? How about, how about this? We can be more efficient. We can be good. It can be positive. The world can be positive. It's good. AI is good. Glad to see you, sir. Thank Great you very much you. indeed. I appreciate it.